We have six great venues that are participating in the Harlem Bar and Restaurant Call this evening. We have Native, which is an old Harlem favorite. It's been around for the last six years. We have Nectar Wine Bar, as well as Harlem Vintage two great additions to the neighborhood in the last couple of years. We have 67 Orange Street. We have Melba's, which is where we are to right now. And we also have a new establishment called Five and Diamond. So a lot of great different experiences for people to come out, taste some different food, and to try some different cocktails. There's a lot of great businesses that have developed in the last couple of years, and they are owned by local Harlemites, and I think it's very important we just spend our money in our communities. Food's really good. I'm looking forward to going to the other restaurants I haven't tried, and uh, I think it's a beautiful night out, so this is a great event for people just to get accustomed to the restaurants in the area. Well, you know what? I've been to Melba's before. I've been to Nectar's before, but I think one of the restaurants I'm dying to try on the crawl, which is Quinstance, and I'm looking forward, that's our next stop. I'm really looking forward to that one. That one I've been eyeing for a couple of months now, so this gives me an opportunity to definitely try some of the food on their menu. We normally, on a Thursday night, we do about 100 covers, 120 covers or so. But it's really busy, really early right now. So I would say by the end of the night, we're, we're going to do at least an extra 25 to 30% in business. I think this is a great idea. What you see me making now is our mac and cheese, our homemade mac and cheese. You, you won't get the ingredients because everything's already mixed in now at this point. <laughs> but uh, the homemade mac and cheese that we do here, this is one of our favorite dishes. A lot of our guests just put the macaroni and cheese for their dinner. You know, we wow. do three different cheeses in our macaroni and cheese. Also, we have an order. I hear the waffle machine going off. Uh, we have an order for the chicken and waffle, which is okay. here. I'm going to come around real quick and get the chicken. So, okay, if I'm coming to Melba's, what's the dish I have got to get? I'm sorry? I said, if I'm coming to Melba's, what's the dish? Uh, well, you would basically get a uh, chicken and waffle. What dish do you see here? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, get your waffle in there. I think, yeah. isn't there, um, it's like a certain, is it a butter or a, a, a syrup or something you guys are known for here? Oh, yeah, well, our strawberry butter. Wait, where, where you can take some butter? I'll watch Ooh, that. Oh, uh, yeah, our uh, strawberry butter is um, served with our uh, waffles, our chicken and waffles, uh, which raise every now. Watch, I guess, watching you in action, Ray. Uh, actually, this is the uh, winning chicken and waffle that we uh, beat Bobby Flay with when we had the Bobby Flay throwdown. This is Riazul Tequila. We are a new 100% Blue Agave all estate grown. Mm -hmm. These are the bottles. Uh, where was I? All right, so we have a silver, mm -hmm. which is distilled twice right to the bottle. A very smooth, very clean tequila. 100 times better than Patron. Uh, this is the Reposado. Now, this one spends nine months in American and French oak uh, barrels, new barrels. So it's a little spicy, uh, but very good. And then finally, what I call our flagship. This is the Añejo. 
Now this one spans uh, two years and exo cognac, exo cognac casks. It's got some vanilla notes. It's very, it's very, uh, very smooth. You get some cinnamon, chocolate, but this is a great sipping tequila. One of the best on the market. So I welcome you to come forward and uh, give us a try. Okay, now is this all just because of the Harlem Crawl, or do you do you have this the same display and offer every day? Well, uh, we, they sell it here at Harlem Vintage, but no, the owners of Harlem Vintage asked, asked us to come in and uh, present our brands, which is fine. I live in the neighborhood, so we're a new brand, and I'm a new brand, and not a lot of people know it. So this is. I talked to a good. How many, how many, I talked to a good 200 people. How many shops are you in, in the city? We're in about 100. We sell in about 190 uh, bars, restaurants, and liquor stores. I'd just like to add, you know, for people to think about Harlem again. There's so much to experience from from arts, shopping, culture. Um, visit experiencehaarlem.com or look for us on Facebook. So we'll definitely keep you in the know as to what's hot and what's happening uptown.